Hi everyone, here I have a very nice equation to prove for the value of m. What I have to find in this equation, I have to find the value of m. So here the equation is m factorial is equal to m cube minus m. So let's start our question. Firstly, I want to discuss this term as I can write the m factorial as m n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 and so on up to 3 2 and 1 so i can use this in writing the m factorial so let's start m factorial is equals to m cube minus m uh, i'm seeing that i can take the common m and here left m square minus 1 so this is a very this can be written as m square minus 1 square so i can use the identity here that is x square minus y square which is x minus sorry x minus y and x plus y so i'm going to use this identity here similarly i can write m factorial as m m minus 1 and m minus 2 factorial why open it up to m minus 1 i can explain later m minus 1 and m plus 1 so here is the reason why I open this m factorial up to m minus 1 factorial uh, up to m minus 2 factorial so I can cancel these two terms. So here I left m minus 2 factorial is equal to m plus 1. So here uh, I can write this m plus 1 in the term of m minus 2 m minus 2 factorial equals to m minus 2 and plus 3 so minus 2 plus 3 again make m plus 1 so next i will write m minus 2 factorial m minus 2 and plus 3 now i can let m minus 2 is equals to x so i'm going to replace this it will be this equation will be x factorial which is equals to x plus 3 so let's take this m minus 2 is equals to x as our equation number one so uh, further when we put the values we can use this so x factorial is equal to x plus 3 I can write this x factorial as x 2x minus 1 factorial and this is equal to x plus 3 so now I'm going to shift this x to the left hand side x into x minus 1 factorial minus x is equal to 3 so here i can took the common term that is x x minus 1 factorial and minus 1 is equal to 3 so next let's uh, x is multiplying we can divide in the opposite side x minus 1 factorial minus 1 3 by x so i'm going to shift this minus one to the right hand side x minus one factorial three by x plus one so this is our and other equation that is equation number two so from this equation we can conclude that x minus one implies that x is greater than equals to one 
so 3 by x plus 1 this implies that x is less than equals to 3 either less or equal so from here it is clear that the values of x may be 1 2 and 3 so now let's check these values by putting 1 by 1 in the equation number 2 so firstly let put x is equals to 1 so when I put x is equals to 1 in this equation this will be 1 minus 1 factorial equals to 3 x is equals to 1 plus 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 factorial 3 plus 1 0 factorial is equals to 1 which is equals to 4 this is impossible so x is equals to 1 is not our rule so now let's try for x is equals to 2 now try for x is equals to 2 i'm going to put this in this equation for x is equals to it will be 2 minus 1 factorial which is equals to 3 by 2 plus 1 so 2 minus 1 factorial is 1 factorial 3 by 2 plus 1 again 1 3 by 2 plus 1 this is again not possible so now I will check it for x is equals to 3 3 minus 1 factorial which is equals to 3 by 3 plus 1 3 minus 1 is equals to 2 factorial which is equals to 3 by 3 1 plus 1 2 factorial can be written as 2 into 1 it is equals to so this is true so this proves that x is equals to 3 is our root for the equation number 2 so let's check let's put this value in the equation number 1 Our equation number one is m minus 2 is equals to x here we drive that x is equals to 3 m minus 2 3 plus 2 and m is equals to 5 so we conclude that m is equals to 5 now check this m is equals to 5 to our main equation that is m factorial which is equals to m q minus m we are going to check that our, our either our solution is right or wrong so let's put m factorial m cube minus sorry i have to put here again minus 5 so m factorial can be written as 5 4 3 2 1 is equals to 5 cube 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 minus 5 so this is equals to 5 4 3 2 1 this is equals to 120 5 times 5 times 5 is 125 minus 5 is equals to 120 120 so this proves that our value that we find m is equals to 5 is right for over this equation so this is our main target to find the value of m m is equals to 5